And now, Darcy. What? You're bringing back somebody special, somebody that we love. Now oh tell us who gosh. it is. Oh, if we were to scroll, I would love that. Um, so, what? all right, all right, ladies and gents. So back by popular demand, everybody's favorite, not so professional botanist, he just knows a lot about gardening and promotes a positive mental attitude while doing so. TikTok's very own Garden Marcus. Garden yeah, Marcus. Yeah. Marcus. I think you are a pro. Marcus, I'm so sorry. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up? <laughs> Marcus! Oh, that's awesome. Hi, Marcus. Hey, guys. Marcus! We got another little... Yes! Oh, my God! Hi! <laughs> we, we had a little Humba shout out. Um, Marcus, thank you so much for coming back. Oh, thanks you, for having me, guys. You look great. Um, no one's anything about it. What we need to know, is there any new additions to your Garden Oasis since last we talked? Man, uh, probably another 20 or 30 plants. Um, <laughs> Don't you have 400? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I keep finding little places to tuck in uh, different oh, plants. Wait, wait, I just keep adding to it. Oh my gosh, that is, um, you know what, you got a trial and error back there in your in your backyard, I suppose. Um, yeah. So listen, this is sort of the, the episode that's like the game, the game show episode. So I got a pop question for you. Are you ready? All right, give okay. it to me. Okay, here's the scenario. You're stranded in the Mojave Desert, the driest desert in North America, spanning over 48,000 thirsty ass miles. What three plants do you ask a genie to magically appear before you to foster healthy living? Ooh, um, a cactus. Oh, um, okay. A cactus uh, that's going to give me some really, really good water. Um, a, a desert fern, um, which is basically looks like a really prickly. Oh, you're frozen. Well, we lost them. Bush, but uh, that's going to provide things to use in building. And uh, I'll also probably ask for a few grasses just so that I can uh, support the uh, cultivation of the ground so that inevitably I could dig below that and find some uh, coolness. Amazing. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, and That's not Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> We're switching oh, it up over here. We switched it. We switched it. Marcus, I got to tell you that I sprouted a pineapple after your episode. I did. I what? did. I finally got roots. I just planted it in soil like a couple days ago. So oh my gosh, that's awesome. It's my first one that's ever gotten roots. That was so from excited. the, I saw that TikTok too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So you mean that's you great. Come from I love you, man. Are we, I'm, are we I'm, I'm getting so many comments from people around the world telling me about their pineapples. And I'm hoping that at some point someone's going to send me some homegrown fruit. I love it. I love it. Marcus, I think we're going to play a game with you. We're going to throw you over to Barry. All right, Barry, what's going on? What's up, Marcus? Good to see you again. Hey. Hey, man. So we're going to play a little game. Uh, we're switching up on you. Uh, I'm, I'm now in front of our chalkboard here, and we're going okay. to play a game called Flower Power. It works basically <laughs> like Hangman, but you'll get... Did we tell him we were doing this game, by the way? Um, you'll guess the letters that will spell a secret plant-related word. For each letter you guess wrong, the, the flower will lose one petal. Make sense? Okay. Okay. Uh, mm. So here's... The, it's a, it's a two-word uh, uh, proper noun. So what's your first letter? F. That's going to be one of these. Sorry about that. Oh. So you lose one pedal. Okay. That's all right. You got oh, five like more reverse. to go. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, a. A. No, that's that's also not in there, so Marcus. What? No. <laughs> okay. okay. So you got four left. E. E. Yes, that was a good one. Uh -huh. There's and nine then... E's. <laughs> okay. No, that's good. That's good. What else you got? I. No eyes. Side down here. What? No, no eyes. Kind of worried. Marcus, you're okay, but you got three left. Don't what do you got? O. Yes. <laughs> it's so exciting for me, too. Um, <laughs> oh, yes. That's on there. Okay. <sighs> Any letter that isn't one of these. Um, mm, da, na, 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 na. Oh, man. Uh, S. S. I think what you said was B, and yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and right here. 
<laughs> right? I, I, it's a little crackly, but I think that's what you're saying. Uh, what do you got next? Wait, what is this supposed to be again? So this is an, a plant-related word, and actually I'm going to give you a hint. It's Texas-related, too. Oh. Uh, blue Bonnet. Hey, that's right. <laughs> it is Blue yeah. Bonnet. Give it up from Garden Marcus. Oh, man. That's the Texas State flower. And back to who? <laughs> back to you, Darcy. Oh, i got to give you a mic. I need my mic. I stole their mic. Got it. Well, that was fun. Awesome. Wasn't it? That was fun. Oh, Marcus. So a big part of what makes you you is Mm -hmm. your allegiance to promoting mental health, spiritual awareness, patience, and positivity. Uh In the wake of the heinous murders of Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Aubrey, and George Floyd, how do you suggest people call to action while sustaining your practices of kindness amidst the adversity so many are experiencing today? Well, um, I think it's important that everyone everywhere acknowledge that these injustices are happening because of lack of communication and follow through between each other and community. And so it's really important that we take time to have conversation with each other. It's really important that we take time to communicate. Now, it's very difficult during today's time to have, uh, you know, that kind of communication, to take that kind of time, to be that kind of patient. But that's really why we have to put in the effort and actually uh, meet this challenge because Uh, Getting angry is one thing, but allowing that anger to fuel better conversation, to fuel listening, will lead to progress. So I think it's super important we all lean on each other and do everything we can to maintain quality conversation and and avoid argument and avoid um, belligerent thinking as much as possible. Man. Well said. Nailed it on the head there, Marcus. Amen. Amen. And I really, I really think that we can learn all learn a thing or two from your spirit. Um, so thank you so much for your wisdom and your all around good nature. Everyone, give Marcus a round of applause. Love you, Marcus. We love you, Marcus. Love you, Marcus. Take care, buddy. Back to you, Tim. Yes, thank you, Marcus. And be sure to uh, check it out, choiceforward.com. That's Marcus's company, um, and, and and learn more about what he's doing. Um, to promote positivity there. Um, Thanks so much, man. We'll see you next time.